Okay, dear students, we are going to discuss about the first topic of Form 4, which is waves. So, let's see the definition of waves. A wave is a progressive disturbance propagated from a point in a medium on the space without the movement of the points themselves. Waves transfer energy from one point to another. And example, we have water waves, we have sound waves, and we have light waves. But in this presentation, we are going to demonstrate on the water waves. Okay, dear students, when we drop the piece of chalk in a water container, they are going to form water waves. Just observe. That's our water waves. Okay, dear students, let's see terms used with the waves. We have amplitude. Number one, it is amplitude. So amplitude is a maximum displacement from equilibrium position. So if this is the diagram which represents waves, Amplitude it is a maximum displacement from equilibrium position. So this is an amplitude from equilibrium position. But also we have another term which is crest and the trough. So when we're talking about crest, crest is a point of maximum displacement of waves from equilibrium position. So if this is equilibrium position, then this is crest, the point of o, the maximum positive displacement. But here also it is a crest. But when we're talking about trough, trough is a point of maximum negative displacement from equilibrium, which is this point, this point, and this one also it is a trough. So these are points of maximum negative displacement of waves from equilibrium position. But also we have another term which is wavelengths. Wavelengths. So wavelengths, this is a distance traveled by waves to complete a one cycle. Distance which completes one cycle. So if wave travel from this point up to this point, so this is a complete cycle. So this is a wavelength. Because this is a half cycle and this is another half cycle which they make a cycle. So the distance from this point up to this point, it is known as a wavelength. But also another definition of wavelength is a distance of where two successfully crest or two successfully trough. So also the point between one crest and another crest is also a wavelength. But also the distance between one trough to another trough is also a wavelength. But also we have another term which is time period. Time period. So time period, this is the time used to complete a one cycle. So the time taken by wave to travel from this point up to this point, it is a time, this is the time period. But also we have frequency. Frequency, frequency is a number of complete cycle per time taken. So Frequency is equal to 1 over time period. Okay, dear students, we have another term which is velocity. Velocity. Velocity is a rate of change of displacement. So velocity is equal to displacement, displacement, Per time taken. 
so velocity is equal to displacement per time taken and its SI unit it is meter per second so this is the velocity okay dear students let's see the relationship between frequency velocity and the wavelength so velocity velocity is equal to wavelength wavelength per time so this is denoted by letter v and wavelength is denoted by lambda and time is denoted by t so velocity is equal to wavelength over time but frequency is equal to 1 over time therefore velocity is equal to wavelength times frequency which is also known as a wave equation so this is a wave equation this is a wave equation this is the relationship between velocity wavelength and the frequency okay dear students let's discuss about types of waves we have two types of waves we have electromagnetic waves and the mechanical waves electromagnetic waves this is the types of waves which do not need medium for transfer of energy but mechanical waves this is the types of waves which needs medium in order to transfer energy an example of electromagnetic waves is light waves an example of mechanical waves are water waves and the sound waves but these mechanical waves are categorized into two we have long to no waves and the transverse waves okay dear students log to no waves is a category of mechanical waves in which wave is traveling parallel with the direction of the vibrating particle so if this is the direction of wave then this is the direction of vibrating vibrating particle vibrating particle okay but when we are talking about transverse waves this is a category of mechanical waves in which wave is traveling perpendicular with the direction of the vibrating particle so if if this is the direction of the waves so this is the direction of the particle the vibrating particle is going to travel in the direction which make an angle 90 with the waves so this is the direction this is the direction of a vibrating vibrating particles but also this is the direction of a vibrating particles they are going to form an angle 90 with the direction of the waves thank you